my name is Sadish and I was born in, um, in Germany and um, lived my life there um, for 41 years before I came to Australia. In early life, my life was determined who I didn't want to become, which was um, just um, uh, making uh, lots of money and living in the material world. So I decided to go to India then. I wanted to travel for half a year, but actually I ended up one and a half years in India when I first visited. And I basically stayed in the ashram uh, because I loved it so much. Hi, I'm Santoshi and I um, left Australia when I was 24. I met seven people that were leaving and we all decided to travel overland, which is what you did in, in those in the 70s. And as we were traveling, I actually met a lot of people that were into, you know, hippie and questioning life. And I had, was so conservative. And that, by that time, my girlfriend and I were traveling then by ourselves. And so we just ended up, I said to her, I'm going to this place called India, uh, Pune. And she sort of said, oh, okay, I'll come with you. And so we went up. So Santoshi and I met in 91 in, uh, in India, in the ashram. I live in the ashram since I was 24. So since 78, right up until the 90s, early 90s, when we got back to Australia. This I remember is at Lismore, mm. pretty much at Lismore Markets. Mm -hmm. And then we just started, look at it, and how the van was, you know? It was this, this run sure. down. Oh yeah. So it was a run down van there. at the beginning, wasn't yeah. it? When I came back here with a dish, we had to make money. So I had to get over it, so to speak, and um, get on with my life. In, in the beginning, actually, I will really took on every job. I was cleaning for 10 hours, and believe me, I hate cleaning. Um, I was uh, doing some handyman jobs uh, on, a, on, on a farm of a friend and believe me, I'm not talented nor do I like it to be out in the hot sun in Australian weather. So all these things and, and then I started kind of like offering my massage service. We had a good life but it was just like really for the first four years we were struggling to um, uh, meet all our, our really what we needed. Every square centimeter in this little duplex here was filled <laughs> up <laughs> with either kitchen and food van stuff yeah. or the <laughs> clinic. And we had we lived up here in the in the bedroom, and that was even it was also a session room during the day, and in the night we cleaned it out and slept there. The way we came to Duterte is quite an incredible story. So we in 2010. We were actually quite established um, with our massage center and also massage school. And our clinic, you know, we had 15 practitioners working for us. And then suddenly out of nowhere, we got a call from someone who wanted to hire our premises. So this is the main roundabout in Bayern where you're just coming from outside. Yeah. And our massage center was just over there. When we first met doTERRA, we, Adish and I, <laughs> really had made a decision. Okay, Santoshi, Andy and Natalie are coming. You know, these two people we had never met in our life, they're coming to do an intro class, but we're not going to get involved. They're into something, but we're not getting involved. So we both agreed, no way. And yet, having a sniff of the diffuser with the wild orange, and that got him. It took a few phone calls, and then we finally said, oh, okay, we'll have a diamond kit. What the heck? The first year, uh, Santoshi's goal was to become an Australian farmer, which is kind of like equivalent to a gold rank at that time. And uh, my, my um, biggest motivation was to be celebrated as Diamond and celebrate and dance down the red carpet with her. And that was really originally, and we did this in one to two years. From the moment up to Diamond, I would say we invested all our money which we made into the business so we needed to keep our clinic and our school uh, as a backup. That's wonderful. So, that is so great, this basic um, compensation plan. I knew I would never not have money, because I, I love it. It's energy for me. So my mother um, couldn't read or write, so I have this incredible respect for this woman. <laughs> she 
taught me so much about surviving in terms of, because she couldn't read or write, I had to write everything for her. She had, she created, she was such an entrepreneur. She managed to get her own home, you know, because dad was borderline alcoholic pretty much. And he, you know, there just was no relationship, but they, we, they stayed together. But so it was like, mum, I learned from mum how to be, in a way, an entrepreneur. When we went to that first convention with Natalie and Andy, I said to Adish, I feel like I am coming home. So for me, there was, it was a no-brainer. I had a community again. I love community, and doTERRA lives and thrives through the heart. It also is a platform where we were forced to develop um, ourselves, to bring the best out in ourselves. And ultimately, this is my biggest why now. I want to become the best version of myself, so I don't have any regrets when I leave this part of my being, right, the physical body.